Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Using an enzyme known as recombinant activated factor 7 to stem life-threatening bleeding can place patients at increased risk for thromboembolic events, according to research published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information about thromboembolic events. It is the development of a blood clot or thrombus that develops in blood vessels, either artery or vein. The blood clot may then dislodge and begin to travel through the circulatory system. This is known as an embolism. The blood clot may then lodge in a major organ including the heart, lungs or brain, causing severe damage and even death. Researchers from the University of Amsterdam analyzed data taken from 35 controlled trials that explored the risk of thromboembolic events among individuals given 7A. These studies included over 4,000 individuals who were given the drug to treat uncontrolled bleeding and nearly 350 healthy volunteers who took the drug to test its effects. Overall, 11% of the participants developed a thromboembolic event. Thromboembolic events occurring in the arteries occurred more frequently among those who received 7A than those who received a placebo. This was particularly notable among elderly individuals. There was no difference in the rate of thromboembolic events occurring in the veins between those who received 7A and those who received a placebo. We spoke with Dr. Marshall Levy, one of the investigators of this study, who offered some further insight. The paper he wrote on the safety of uh, factor 7A um, actually uh, describes that, that the use of 7A is associated with an increased risk of uh, thrombotic side effects, in particular arterial side effects. So think about uh, myocardial infarction or um, stable angina, which is a chest pain, to say so, um, or cerebral vascular thrombosis. Um, this 7A is a very effective drug. Uh, that can be used in patients with a high risk of bleeding or have excessive blood loss. Um, but these data actually indicate that there is also a price to be paid, and that is that, that the drug can also cause thrombotic complications as a consequence. So I think um, uh, uh, um, in making the decision whether or not to treat a patient with this drug, it's now easier for the physicians to, because they can make a, a more precise benefit-risk assessment they can they can weigh the risk of this excessive blood loss and the expected benefit of 7A to the risk of, of a thrombotic complication. Today's research suggests that physicians should use recombinant activated factor 7A with caution as a method of stemming life-threatening bleeding, especially in older patients. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.